Welcome back to the Frugal Homestead, guys. So today, we're gonna to be going over a simple way that we use to save money by using the GetUpside app. So we will review the app and explain other things we use in conjunction with it to save money on fuel. Because nowadays, the prices are getting crazy. But with that said, if you guys haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button, because here at the Frugal Homestead, we use the best of the old ways and the new ways to bring together to have a more meaningful life. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you go down and hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos as well as subscribe. Now, let's get into it. So the GetUpside app basically is a very simple process to where you can get the lowest price locally in gas. So what you do is you're gonna go into the app. When you sign up, you will need to enter two things that some people get scared about. One, you need to have the first couple digits and the last four digits of whatever credit card or debit card or whatever you're gonna to use to pay. You will need to pay at the pump. That is very important. All right, this is not for paying inside. You also will need to link your bank account if you want to have them directly deposit the money you're saving in. Because unlike normal places, like Speedway gives you three cents off the gallon of what you're actually filling at that moment. This actually gives you cash. Now you can also get online uh, cards to like Amazon or Starbucks or cards off Netflix stuff like that so there is other options but let's start from the beginning if we're in the process of going out and using get upside so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go in to open the get upside app once your accounts all set up and you're gonna look for the area you're in or you're gonna be driving through for us there is no gas stations that use GetUpside in our town currently. But where we dash and where we do Instacart and all our other gig apps in Lancaster, there is. The market in Lancaster has two Circle Ks and one Shell station that use GetUpside. Now, we have done a lot of traveling all over states and there is so many more gas stations accepted outside of Ohio than there is inside Ohio. But you know, that at least tells you they're across the country. Now, you're going to pick your gas station. You're going to claim an offer. You will have four hours to use that offer. Now, when you're picking your offer, it's important to remember some things. One, if this is your normal area you live in, you're going to know which gas stations are paying the butt to go to, which ones are easy to go to. So if you look at the example I'm putting up, you'll see that there actually is cheaper prices at another gas station but that gas station is a pain in the butt to get in and out of and I also have to drive a couple miles out of my way. It's not worth the savings to go that couple extra miles out of the way. That's an important factor that most people don't think about. Now when you're looking at it, don't look at just how much off the gallon. You know what I mean? Because it may say one cent or ten cents. Don't chase that. Look at the actual price of gas to the right there that's what matters how much you're paying a gallon with whatever's closest on your route so make sure you think about that because it's important don't always chase where it says 25 cents off a gallon but it's 25 cents more expensive for gas over here so just a little tip there now once you've claimed your offer like i said you got four hours to get there and use that offer don't freak out if you don't because you can get another offer generally now when you get there you got to hit that you have arrived and it'll ask you which card you're going to use so it will show you the last four digits of whatever card you have saved on there you pick the one you're going to use then you go pay with that card at the pump very important we do it this way then fill your gas up just like you would normally do make sure you get a receipt. I've only had one or two instances where I've had to turn the receipt, but 
some gas stations can be kind of funny now there is a rare occasion that you actually have to take a picture of the receipt because some gas stations do things differently but it's been very random i think only one marathon out in the middle of nowhere did it on our way to virginia beach so that said it is a thing get your receipt if they can't print your receipt at the pump I would go inside and get one because it guarantees you will get your money even if something goes wrong. Now you can go into your credit card and show the digital receipt if something does happen. But like I said, this is like one in a million type thing. It almost never happens. So at that point, you have now received your cash back. All right. So within 24 hours usually or one business day, it will post the money out of history and into your little holding account on the app. Now, when you hit the $10 mark, you can pull those funds out and put them into your bank account, or you can redeem them for an online gift card. Now, the important thing to understand about this is if you're a person who doesn't use a ton of gas, this may not be helpful in the large scale. But we don't stop there. We optimize everything. So, with that said, you can go get you a credit card. Now, we personally use the American Express and get 2% back on all fuel purchases. Now, 2% doesn't seem like much, but when you mix it with the money you're making off GetUpside, that's pretty amazing. We also have used our Capital One, and that gives us 1.5 on all purchases. So that's a 1.5% plus what we save on GetUpside. So you see how we're stacking and compounding to make money. Now, all these things I'm talking about, there'll be links down in the description. And there'll be a code that you can put in when you sign up for GetUpside if you choose to sign up under us. Now, let me tell you how that would help our channel that wouldn't cost you nothing. Is anyone who signs up under you, you get a penny for every gallon of gas they get. And they get an automatic 35 cent bonus on their first fill up. So it's just that simple. Now there's other people's links or you could just not use a coupon link. That's fine. But I'm just saying in the future, if you were just to put our code in there, then we would get a penny every time you fill up gas and it wouldn't cost you anything. Now, how that's relevant and why I'm explaining this to you is because you can do the same thing. So say you have your kids sign up under you yours in your code then every time they fill up with gas you will get a penny now penny don't seem like much but if you're running around in a car like a honda civic for example when my son who signed up under me fills up i get 10 cents every time he fills up i get 10 cents so that adds up over time and the bigger the family you have that signs under you whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's coworkers, the more that builds up. So if everybody's filling up or somebody has like a van or a blazer or something big that uses a lot of gas, full size Chevy truck like mine, you're going to really go through some gas. And at a penny a gallon, that's going to add up quick. Now, when you're taking all these things to maximize it, you want to be careful that you're not chasing yield on these savings. Don't go to a gas station's five miles away trying to get five more cents off gas. It really doesn't work. And there are cards, like PNC has a 4% off gas credit card with no annual fee. So that would be a good option if you're in the market already for another credit card that you could use to really stack this and make this work. Now, life doesn't have to be so hard that you can't take the time to grind out a few cents here or there because this is just one way out of many we have to optimize our lives and make sure we're making the most of everything we put out energy wise 
Now, since we do all these gig apps and stuff, we're running through almost $500 a month in gas between dashing, Instacart, shipped, GoPuff, and of course, I work construction and my wife works 20 miles away in Athens. So we are using this like crazy. We also use it when we go on vacations. But one thing I wanna say is in three months time, we've already saved well over a hundred dollars. I mean, that's, that's considerable. It doesn't seem like much, but if you're doing four or $500 a year, you know, between get upside and what you're saving on your credit cards, that's a chunk of money. That would be the equivalent to me walking out and buying, I don't know, just for an example, a heavily, a high quality refurbished Samsung phone. I mean, an S20 FE right now is going for about $500 direct from Samsung unlocked. So you're talking about, I can buy a high end phone with my gas savings. All right. These are the options that are out there. $500, you know, can be taken and do like we do because all of our money from get upside goes in our HSA, which is the health savings account, which is tax free. So at the end of the year, we get to write it off for taxes. If you use it for medical costs, coming out it's tax-free, it grows tax-free, and at a certain age you can actually pull from it like it was a Roth IRA, basically. There's no taxes on it coming out. So we have optimized it one step farther, which I know most people are not going to do, but I just wanted to put that out there. You know, you could also put those funds into a Roth IRA and they would grow tax-free and then at a certain age you could take them out and they'd be tax-free. So there's the other way we optimize. So the three patterns there gets us the most for our money. But as you can see, we optimize as much as we can in our life to make sure that every time we go out and work, sweat, whatever, it's maximized and we're getting the highest return on it because we also like to enjoy life. And the best way to enjoy life is to not spend it working constantly. So with that said, if you haven't already, after this video, go on down and hit that subscribe button. Please go down, smash it. Make sure you turn on notifications so you see all of our upcoming videos. Hit a like, comment down in the box below. Let me know what you're using to optimize your life. What apps you're using to save money, what ways you save money with fuel, because this may not always be the best way. And I'm always willing to grow and get better. I spend hours doing research trying to optimize these things in our life. If you've got a little bit of a hack to make this even better, share it in the comments below so we can all share in it. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.